continue with Ragham Up and Piper here in the woods of the Hidden D again. You can see I wasn't kidding about the work. I'm in the middle of some dead wood removal. <laughs> Got my coffee down there and uh, my ferro, my ferro pipe. It's one of the only straight pipes that I have bought brand new. It's a six millimeter, which is, uh, I don't think I like six millimeter filters quite as much as I like the nine millimeter. My helper come to sit by me here. <laughs> Smoking some Stanwell vanilla. Not a very good stencil job there. That's just about the last of it. Stanwell vanilla is a really mild vanilla. It's not not very strong. Not like some of those heavily topped vanilla blends that you uh, that you get, and they smell they smell so strong right out of the tin. It's not that way. Quite good tobacco, just a hint of vanilla and a couple other things I can't really put my finger on. Well, yeah, we're continuing on the uh, removal of the deadwood. You know, forest is kind of like anything else. When you have a lot of greenery, a lot of plants growing, a lot of trees, different kinds of trees. disease can get into your get into your forest and then uh, it can jump from one tree to another and it can make the whole forest go downhill this tree was completely dead has been all year so we wanted to remove it and we're going to cut it up and we're going to put it to good use for some heat this winter It got me to thinking a little bit about pruning things in our own life. You know, the Bible talks in John 15, Jesus is actually the one that says, you know, that uh, we're the vine and his father is the gardener. And he comes through the vineyard and he gets rid of the stuff that's not growing and not producing prunes it cuts it off and he removes it because it'll keep the vines that are producing the ones that are green and growing from being even more productive and then sometimes even the green vines he prunes so that they'll branch out in more direction. I think you see where I'm going with this, don't you? <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> I know a lot of us have in our lives, you know, maybe places and people we need to prune. Sometimes that's not very fun. Uh, it's not very much fun at all. There are people in your life or situations, work, friends, hobbies, things that you do that don't help you grow as a person. Even if you're not thinking in a spiritual way, in a spiritual growth, even if you're just thinking in, in a way of personal growth. If there's that one person at work that keeps you from being successful, that makes the, uh, the rest of the people there unproductive because of their attitude, you need to prune them. Maybe they need some encouragement to grow in a different direction. 
So we're removing the dead wood in our forest. And I started thinking about how sometimes in life we need to remove the dead wood in our, in our lives. That doesn't mean walking away from things that are valuable. It's not an extreme thing. It's a very caring thing. I don't come out in the forest and then just start cutting trees with a blindfold on. I'm very meticulous about which ones I cut and even where I fall them so I don't hurt the little trees that they're falling on. Think about that when you're pruning your life. You need to be meticulous and careful and compassionate. You want to be like that gardener in the vineyard who's coming through trying to help the plant to grow and to progress and to produce more. My job out here isn't to butcher it up and make it look like I've clear cut it. My job really is to make it look like I was never even here. Like I did a good job and everything's thriving and you can't tell the work I've done. I like that for our lives too. The pruning in your life, maybe that ought to be more subtle, compassionate, targeted. But it has to be done. Well, I have some wood to cut. <laughs> I have a lot of wood to cut. <laughs> That's not the end of it. It has to get split and stacked too, so everybody show up on Saturday, we'll stack wood. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? We'll have a pipe smokers convention stacking wood at my house. <laughs> no, that's not going to work, is it? Well, I hope you all have a great week. I hope that you can find some joy in things that you're doing, even if it's work, even if it's family. I know it's football season, and I'm not talking about the professionals who play for money. I'm talking about a lot of a lot of our kids, and our there's a lot of other sports too going on. And I encourage you to support your kids. Go see them, cheer them on. Both of my kids now are out of high school, and uh, some the best memories that I have is going there, watching them play, and enjoying sports. And some of the things that I loved doing growing up, uh, I think it was even more fulfilling to watch them enjoy it and learn to love it than it was when I played. I really do. And I'm going to miss watching them play. But there's always something new to make memories doing. So I hope this week you'll make some memories with your family and your loved ones. It's that old saying, live every day like it's your last. I'm not sure that's a good one for me. <laughs> Honey, I bought this Porsche. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think it's about living every day like it's your last. I think it's about living every day to its best. To its best. Mm. That's some good tobacco right there. So until next time, my friends, keep your pruners handy. Do what needs to be done. Do it in kindness. But don't be afraid. The production can be up just like a 
rose bush. You know, if you don't trim your roses, you'll never get more roses. So you trim it, they bloom, you trim it, they bloom some more. That's the way life works. So God bless you all. We will see you soon. And thanks so much for joining me here at Ragamuffin Piper. This is Randy. Bye-bye. Inside, uh, smoldering away, there is uh, some Stanwell. You like my. Interruption number one.